Hey my lovelies, welcome back to the channel. You just saw me in Cedar City doing spotting at We Rock competition up there. We're actually up in Logan now. I left there and headed straight on up here for the second mod on your potential brand new JT giveaway package with Tread Lightly. We're here at Rock Slide Engineering. They work very closely with Tread Lightly and it's just another super awesome Utah based company that we're able to work with this year. So we're gonna be throwing some of these sliders on there, bumpers, some other goodies. So we're here at their brand new facility. I have a very good close friend who works here, Tanner. We're gonna go meet him just now, take a tour of this awesome facility, see how they make their products here in Utah and we're gonna get some work done to the JT. Actually, as we are gonna go meet Tanner, we're leaving the JT here in the lift and uh, they're gonna start working on just taking those, those stock bumpers off so that we can get the sliders on. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Wonderful. Everyone, this is Tanner. Welcome to Rockside. Well, thank you. I'm finally up in his neck of the woods. I've known you for years. It's been years. It's been years. Finally here. And this is the new facility. The new showroom, new facility. Um, we've got a few random vehicles up here. Okay. Well, are you going to show us around today? Yeah, let's check it out. Heck yeah. All right, Tanner, where are we starting? Well, we can start with our classic fire truck. It's okay. a 1928 uh, model AA, I believe. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. I don't know everything about it, but uh, super cool. Uh, we haven't had a very long found it on the bring a trailer shipped it in from maryland uh, and it's cool it's one of the only functioning jaeger pumps known in existence right now and everything on it works uh, it runs it drives uh, it's That's really cool so crazy i can it's... show you i might warn everybody but siren warning ah! that is the super cutest cool. thing yeah, it's super old school uh, like I say, everything still functions and it's kind of an eye catcher. All right, so we've seen a bunch of really awesome, cool vehicles so far. What Tanner is gonna do now is show us through the old facility and then walk us through the new facility because everything is right here, literally. Yeah. A hop and a skip away. So, let's go forth. To the old facility. This is the old facility. <laughs> the old facility looks like a new facility. So. We keep it pretty clean. So, and these guys come over here and put them in the jig and then weld it all together. It's still all welded by hand on this side. Still all welded by hand this side. Stack them and we'll come in and feed them over to the powder coat line. So we have people on uh, in the old facility right here doing yeah. everything, putting all this together, welding everything, cutting everything, bending everything, and the new side. All of it's automated, so we got robots. Who wants to see robots? So once it's final prepped, everything's done, ready to go, uh, then we take it to our powder coat line. Uh, so this is a powder coat line that we designed in-house. Uh, all the guys here put their heads together to build it. Um, so everything's hung here, then comes through a wash bay, so it'll hang through here, and as it goes through, they use different chemicals to prep the material and get it ready to have the powder applied. Nice. Um, so this is applied but not cooked yet. Okay. 
Okay. So they'll take and they'll apply it down, then they'll put it back into the oven, and then that's where it will actually seal them. LJ step sliders. They're just prep waiting to go into the oven. It's just shy of 400 degrees. 400 degrees, huh? So you can see before it kind of looks flat. flat. It gets the glass to come out. Nice. Ready to go through QC and get ready for packaging. See all the mechanics to putting a step slider together. They're side specific depending on passenger driver. Obviously got your motors. So this is where everything's assembled. That one is ready. You wanna ready to go? Show it off. Ooh. How many a day? What's your record? I don't know. Good day, 50. 50 Five. sets? Sets. Uh, yeah. 50 sets? Yeah. Whoa. Now we enter the new facility. Same initial concept, just a little bit different. Oh my goodness. Our new laser, it's got the stacker, so it'll change the plates out. Um, so we can get a program, press run, and it'll run for a really long time until all that material is gone. So each one of those holds 6,000 pounds. It'll press break over here, so it does all the little bracketry, uh, yeah. it does all of that. And then this is our big one. Uh, so instead of people lifting it by hand anymore, this yeah. robot takes care of all of it. Not like this, you see it's got suction cups and some random things. It'll come over, pick that up bend everything and then stack it up all nice so then we can just open and grab it with the forklift and get it. We've got our robotic welder here. So we'll just load everything what? in the fixture. As you can see, that's a welder that comes in and it's programmed. So it'll come in and do all those specific welds and weld everything together so we no longer have to do it by hand. How do we feel about a robotic welder? The nice thing is it never takes a break and it's always in the exact same place. So the welds are always the same. That that's very true. She never goes home. She never goes home. <laughs> always working. She's always working. That is super cool. She's on our lunch break right now though. Lunch break. Lunch break. So How incredible is that? Depending on what we're building, uh, we can just rotate this. Yeah. So we have this jig and we rotate it around and we can have the other jig. So it stays here and just rotates so it's really easy to change the jigs. Heck yeah. Through the first wash. Then this will heat everything, get all the oils, all the water, anything that's left on there, it'll cook it off. Yeah. And then it goes into the next one where the powder's laid down. Nice. Okay, since we're in the product area, guess what? They don't just do sliders. I know, mind-blowing. What else do we do here? Uh, we do all kinds of stuff. So lighting accessories for the JT. We've got JLJT mounts for the cows. Uh, we do tailgate tables. We do bumpers. We do all kinds of stuff. And we're constantly coming out with new stuff. Uh, we just released Gen 1 product for the Broncos. Nice. So if you've got an old Gen 1 Bronco, we can get step sliders for it. And we're just constantly adding more and more to the fleet expanding so guys i'm gonna leave the link in the description below for rock slide engineering definitely go check them out very cool products very cool people very cool company and u.s made absolutely everything's right here right take here a tour. in good old utah's you think we should go see what's going on with the jt let's go make sure they haven't you know start Ruined putting it. random stuff on. wrecked it <laughs>
Is there somewhere where they can see how to install these? Yeah, if they want to go to Rockslide Engineering on YouTube, you can see tons of videos or just search it on YouTube, install. Um, just watch if you're getting Gen 3 or Gen 2. Make sure you watch the video that you're putting on. Oh, we're going to put that link in the description also, aren't we? We can put that link in the description. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave those guys just doing the last bit of insulation for those sliders. And then we have a bumper to do. And you guys are gonna be able to see exactly what it looks like in the next JT episode. Now, I'm gonna make a playlist, especially for the JT, just so that you can see the progression of what we're doing with the giveaway vehicle. Now, remember, you can now enter to win this giveaway vehicle five dollars for one ticket even better become a member of tread lightly and get multiples of tickets all the information is going to be in the link in the description below make sure that you get your ticket and you are in it to win it i know i kept saying that last year but it's so true now i want to give tanner a massive shout out and rockslide engineering for showing us around all the facilities showing us how their products are made in-house in Utah in the US of A. We're so happy to be partners this year with the Tread Lightly giveaway. It's just phenomenal. We have great partners again and I just couldn't be more excited. Now next week we're going to be installing the JKS lift kit and wheels and tires. So the vehicle is going to look completely different again at the end of next week which is just so exciting. One more thing before I head off today, I think it's about time that we do another Q&A, don't you? Yeah, exactly. So make sure that you leave your questions in the comments below for Walter and I, and we will do our very best to get those answered for you very soon. But as you can tell, I'm on the move again. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later. Woo. See all the robots? Yeah, I saw all the robots. They're actually nice to the really robots, cool. so when they take over the planet, we can come here for protection. Yeah. We yeah. bolted them down. No, that's There's not going to last. We bolted them down. Obviously, they can unbolt themselves. They can do all the other stuff. That's that's not... You didn't think that one through. So I'll just put a safety strap on them. Safety strap will do it.